This is an instructional video of how to trade Renko chart with a 2000 tick chart confirmation. 2000 tick chart, this is Tradeovate platform. You can get two weeks or a month free or something like that. And you can sign up for their brokerage, which is Ninja Trader, I think now. I uh, know Ninja Trader uses Tradeovate platform. Uh, so you can also use any 2000 tick chart. So you can use Quant Tower. I mean, you can use whatever supports a 2000 tick chart. When I say tick chart, you go ticks and then you have 2000. So you go found ticks, you type in 2000, and this is what it looks like. On Trade of Eight, and you also want to add a TTM squeeze. TTM squeeze is very, very old, and here you have a TTM squeeze. It basically tells you that price is squeezing upward, and then when it changes color, price is not squeezing upward anymore. So in other words, this is the precipice between the top of the mountain and the decline of the mountain. So over here, it's it goes blue, and then when it's red downward, it goes to yellow. So you wait for that. Also, uh, unique to Tradeovate is a filter called Dead Simple Reversal. You do Explore Community Indicators, you do Dead, I think it's the first one, the P2F Dead Simple Reversal. You can add that, and that is unique to Tradeovate. That's basically a, a, um, a reversal indicator, and it's pretty good. So, obviously, my system is based upon reversals. So, having another reversal indicator is handy. A tiki squ TTM squeeze is a reversal indicator, and the dead simple reversal is indicator. On my chart over here, we are on Pepperstone US100 Cash, which is the NQ. We have closed, traditional, and four for a candle size. We are on one second data. So if you come up here to one second data, that does require a premium subscription to TradingView if you want to use this. If you don't want to use this, the standard TO method works just fine. All right, so let's take a look. On the indicators, we have the one Renko. So the one Renko, I turned on flags and dots. We also have, um, I mean, we just turn off the intensity for now. I guess. And we'll leave the intensity on. So the Renko intensity, we'll just turn it off for simplistic purposes. I'll turn it off. Okay, we're trying to be as simple as we can. So we have a dot and a flag. A dot flag combo means a possible reversal. This is at 839. At 839, over here on the 2K tick chart, we had a big run up, but now we have a doji. A doji is a, basically a standard candle that indicates possible reversal or possible change of mind. The tiki squeeze, the, the TTM squeeze is running up and now it's relaxed. So now we change color on the squeeze. So we have a squeeze color change. We have a doji. We have a flag over here on the Renko and I have a dot. So these four things indicate a good trade for me. I went ahead and got in, and I got in pretty good, and we had a, a fantastic rundown down through here. So let's look at the next possible trade. We have a flag and a dot, all right? Again, the one Renko, we have a flag and a dot at 9.05 a.m. What's happening at 9.05 a.m.? Uh, not a lot of anything. This does not look like a good trade. We're just kind of flopping around it looks sideways to me we did have a possible reversal at 856 but right now eh, i'm gonna skip it all right so now we come back down and form a double bottom which is a standard uh a w pattern which you can look up on investopedia if you're confused about what a doji is a double bottom is get on investopedia and look up these two things right so let's talk about what we're going to do uh, double top, double bottom. Need to look up those. Need to look up a doji candle, a uh, dragonfly candle, and you're going to need a gravestone candle. 
and then also a hammer candle. All right, so those are the things you need to research on your own on Investopedia. If you don't know what those all are, we're going to be using those in this video. That's not a lot, guys. That's like five things. So it just doesn't look like a good trade, right? We're just going sideways. I don't see any like big signal candles. Eh. So now we come down and form a double bottom here at 919. Let's go over here. What do we got? Dead simple reversal is saying that we're reversing. And we have a really big green candle followed by another beautiful green candle. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and take this trade. So this trade right here at the double bottom formation is a trade that I definitely want to take. I mean, that's by far one of the great trades of the day. This up here was a great trade as well. So we have two trades where we confirming. Again, we're confirming between the 2000 tick chart and this one, right? Al Brooks who is basically a trading god, always says, have two reasons to trade. What does that mean? It means don't trade on one thing. In other words, don't come over here to your Renko candles and trade with only the Renko candles. You want to have another confirmation. And you can do that with standard candles. In my example, I'm doing it with 2000 tick chart. But again, Always have two reasons to trade. Okay, I got a flag. You can't really see it, but there's a flag and a dot right here. They're overlapping. I need to fix that. But basically, when there's a cell, a flag and a dot, I print an X, right? So you have an X buy, you have an X sell. So this is 936, and it's telling me to go ahead and sell. On the 2K tick chart, dead simple reversal is saying go ahead and sell. Not only that, but you have a doji and the squeeze has shifted colors. So we have a squeeze shifting colors. I have a doji. I have a dead simple reversal saying go, right? And uh, this just looks fantastic. So this is a definite trade for me. It's going to be a trade. And then we go down. Look at the next trade. We have a flag, a flag, and a squeeze. That's three indicators that we need to go long. Let's go ahead and look over here and see what we got. We went red, 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 red. Now we got green, 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 green. All right. So if you look here, this is a um, this is a dragonfly candle. Let me go ahead and make that a little more visible. So we have a dragonfly. Oh, that's going to be terrible. We have a dragonfly candle here. So you get a dragonfly. We have a hammer. Dragonfly hammer, 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 dragonfly hammer, hammer. That's a lot of stuff. Squeeze. Went from squeezy, squeezies to relaxed. Okay. So we got a ton of info. Let me move this over here. So in our stuff to learn, we just did a dragonfly candle, which looks like this. And we did hammers, which look like this. So this is a guaranteed trade for me. Absolutely guaranteed. I love this trade. All right, let's go to the next trade. We got a squeeze. We got a dot and a flag. And it's saying to go short at 11. Let's go up here to 11. And what do we got at 11? Do we got anything decent? Dead simple reversal is saying to go short. Not only that. But you have a bearish engulfing candle. I know I didn't put that over there. You know, there's your bonus, boys. There's your bonus. A dead simple reversal plus a bearish engulfing candle. And the squeeze went from pressure to relax. All on the same candle at 1110. Where are we at at 1110? We're right here. So this is an excellent trade. Now, keep in mind, it did come back. And depending upon where your stop loss is, it did stop you out. It may be, maybe. So basically, when we come over here, we came back up, we readdressed this area, and then we went back down. So if you're using whatever stop loss you're using, if you put it here, you probably got stopped out. Um, you know, if you want to re-engage, that's up to you. That's up to you. All right. So the next thing we got here is another one. 
another trade. We'll, we'll not, so let's see if we can get talked into this trade. Flag, 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 flag. We have a flag and a dot. Again, you can't see it. We have a flag and a dot. And this is at 142. What do we got at 142? Wow. They got a beautiful dragonfly candle. So we got this surge of red. Red, 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 red. Doji slash dragonfly. Green. The squeeze is relaxed. Green, 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 green. Squeeze is relaxed. We come down a little bit. But the squeeze is relaxed. We got a beautiful, like this red trend, and now we're on a green trend. So that is a guaranteed trade. That's a beautiful trade right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get in on that trade. Let's look at the next trade. We got flags and squeezes over here. I got to kind of, this is the end of the day, so we're done with that day. Let's move to the next day. <laughs> Let's move to the next day. So these are, this is Thanksgiving. Let's not do Thanksgiving. Sorry. I'm not going to do like thank Thanksgiving is a is a freakish anomaly. So, sorry. I mean, I'm not saying fr Thanksgiving is freakish. I'm just saying that's that's going to be a very strange trade. Not going to be the best example. So, let's get decent examples here since we're going to do this. All right, I have a buy signal here. On November 20th. Let's go over here November 20th and see what we got. All right. I got us. We just opened on November 20th. I got a sell signal over here. Got a squeeze and a thing at 840. Let's go over here to 840, which is right here. At 840, right here. Uh, right there. I don't know. We got a relaxed squeeze. We're in an uptrend, but I got a relaxed squeeze and I got a doji and a relaxed squeeze right here and a doji. I'll go ahead and get in that. That's a good trade. All right. Go ahead and get in that. And we're going to get a break even stop, right? So we're going to trade here. We're going to start trading here and right there. So we're going to trade at this doji. And we're going to have a break-even stop here. So we came down. And then we started to come back up. And we got stopped out. But it's a break -even, Or you could cash out here once you start coming. I don't know. I would stay in it and just let it break-even stop. So break-even stop. We haven't lost any money. I did take that trade. All right. Let's look at the next trade. Which is right here. That's going to be at 2.24 p.m. 2.24 p.m. What am I going to be doing at 2.24? At 2.24, I'm going to go ahead and take this trade. Because we have a doji at 2.24. And we have a squeeze. Went on the relax side. Doji, squeeze, relax right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take that trade. That looks like a good trade. We do go down here. We go down all the way into here. We start to pop back up. Once we start to pop back up, I'm probably going to get out. You know, once we pop back up a couple of candles. Now you'll notice that we've now formed a double top. So we've now formed a double top. So I got out of the trade here as we pop back up. And you can see on the 2000 tick chart, we went down. But now the squeeze relaxed, indicating we're going back up. So the squeeze relaxed here, indicating a reversal from the up. We went down. The squeeze relaxed here. So I'm going to go ahead and get out on this candle. So I made a couple of dollars, nothing substantial. So we're just waiting for the next trade. Now, I notice we're making a double top over here. So what I do, I come over and I say, ooh, I got a double top. And then on the 2000 tick chart, dead simple reversal is saying go down. And the squeeze is relaxing. You can see it changing color. So that means a possible reversal. And I can physically see that I'm going down. I mean, I can literally see the candle is going down. Dead simple reversal. The squeeze is going down. Double top over here. This is definitely a trade. Go ahead and get in this trade. Absolutely beautiful double top trade. And that sucker just goes. And that goes for a long, 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 long time until 10 a.m. All right, 10 a.m., 9.42 a.m., 
it's saying get out. I'm saying, okay, I'll get out of that trade. 9.42 a.m., what am I going to do? I'm going to get my thing and come over here to 9.42. It's saying go long. And if you go over here, I got a candle. I got a hammer candle. Let me, let me get my stuff. It's gone forever. I've got a hammer candle. Squeezes relaxing. Ooh, hammer candle squeezes relaxing. Let me wait like one or two candles. We're going up, we're going up, we're going. I mean, we're going up. We're going up, right? So this looks like a beautiful trade. So I'd go ahead and get in on this trade. We're going up. Now we have a sell signal here at noon. So we just made a boatload of profit. Let's look at the sell signal at noon, boys. We got noon sell signal. This is noon. What's going on at noon? Oh, squeeze is relaxed. I mean, it's been relaxed. Dead simple reversal popped up. Dead simple reversal popped up. And look at this. We're bouncing off of a 200 EMA. Dead simple reversal. Relax, TTM squeeze. We got a reverse hammer. Reverse hammer, reverse hammer, reverse hammer. Big red engulfing candle. All right. And we got a dead simple reversal. Got a squeeze. And over here, it's saying go short. Boy, I'm in on this. I'm on this for a lot. I think I went hard on this. I went hard on this. Now, be aware that the squeeze does reverse here. So you made profit just from here to here. So it's not like you just won the lottery or anything, right? You didn't just win the lottery, boys. I'm sorry. All right. So I come over here, and that's the end of the day. So it wants us to go long. At 323, I got two flags. I got a squeeze. What's happening over here? Dead simple reversal says go long. Squeeze is relaxed. It says go long. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. We go in, and we ride this thing to the moon. Let's look at the next trade we did. So there's you, a gazillion trade examples of how to combine... And I can do this all day if you want how to combine Renko with a 2000 tick chart. 2000 tick chart is absolutely amazing. You can look at November 19th at 1150. Let's go there. So look at this. We got a buy signal here. Got a big squeeze. Got a thing over here. Would I go long over here? Mm, at five, maybe. Got stopped out. But now we have a double bottom. And look at this. Dead simple reversal with a squeeze. You go over here. I got a big stressed out squeeze dot right here. Would I take this? Absolutely. This is a beautiful trade. We wanted to go long here, but instead we formed a double bottom. And if you had went long here, you would have gotten stopped out. Not going to lie. But the thing is, look, do you see a squeeze relax right here? I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't see a squeeze relax right here on this candle. Would I prefer to have a squeeze relax right here and then trade this? Because it wants to go up right here, but there's no squeeze relax. Uh, if you did do it, you would have gotten stopped out. But I prefer to wait. So I got a squeeze, relax, dead simple reversal. And over here, I got a double bottom and a buy signal squeeze right here. I'm going to go ahead and take that trade. So that's it. You get the idea. Thank you for watching.